So I am in China. I made it to Beijing. I have so many friends to see. So I'm going to be sharing my journey on my trips in China. I'm starting out in Beijing. So I'm in Beijing right now. I'm going to be in Beijing for a couple of days and then I'm going to head to Hangzhou. And then from Hangzhou, I'm heading to Shanghai, flying out to Shanghai, back to Korea. So I'm so excited. My first thoughts of Beijing when I come here is that I really, really like it. Like, there's space and there's space. And today the weather's good. I'm pretty sure tomorrow's gonna be hot. But I really like Beijing. I like the layout. The, the roads are wider. Um, so yeah, stay tuned. So yesterday, my camera died. So I wasn't able to record with my uh, Canon. I bought a little bit on my camera phone. So yeah, today is day two in Beijing, and hello. Uh, and if you ask me, I I like Beijing. It's very big, it's spacious, and the people are different. So this culture, the fashion's different. Um, there are some hiccups, but they were solved. I did not come with cash on me, so for one whole day I didn't have money, but with help from some friends who came to China a couple of weeks ago, they told me I could go to a specific ATM and um, get some cash there. So today, today I'm heading to the Summer Palace, and um, Stay tuned, stay watching so you can see Summer Palace. found a quiet place to talk about try to redo this um, but I am in Beijing China this is the second day I came to China to visit some old classmates from college I hadn't seen them in six years so I had a f I have a few one friend in Beijing and now I've made actually more friends which is really cool. Um, yesterday I flew in and um, what time did I get here? I got here like in the morning like around nine o'clock I think and then um, my friend picked me up from the airport and then the thing was I thought okay so I had everything prepared like I came pretty much prepared except I did not have any cash on me so all day yesterday I didn't have any cash except 10 American US dollars and so she like covered everything and the subway was like for I don't know what it is in um, like US or Korean but for Chinese amount of money and so um, yesterday like it was just a really smooth day like even though I didn't have any money it was really smooth oh and it fascinates me because I'm gonna uh, probably add a video in here about it but we we were gonna go see the Forbidden Palace yesterday the Forbidden Kingdom and um, but tickets were sold out so while we were walking back um, this lady, like she ran up to me and she grabbed me by my arm and she was talking to me and I was like, I don't I don't know what you're saying. And so my friend was like, she's saying that she wants to take a picture with you. And I was just like, okay. 
and so I took the picture with her and then her friend wanted a picture and then her other friend wanted a picture and I was like wow okay like I thought we were kind of past this because I've had friends who like who've lived in Beijing who were Chinese and they're like oh yeah we see foreigners all the time but it was kind of like when it came to me like they were staring like I did get a lot of stares I got a lot of stares a lot of like I got out of the taxi and one man pulled out his cell phone and was recording me so um, I just thought it was quite interesting that how I live in Seoul and Seoul Korea is such a small small country compared to China and Seoul compared to Beijing and the fact that you know, I don't get this many stairs in Korea. And then I come to this huge big city that's the capital and I'm getting more stairs and more attention and people were so nice. They're like, oh, let the foreigner go first. And my friend, she had a really good day. She was like, oh my goodness, you're like getting a lot of attention. And I was like, hmm, interesting. So that's something I've noticed. And um, I've also noticed that um, the people here are nicer. Guys are really nice. And uh, like, for example, I was on the subway this morning. Well, no, I was on. Yeah, I was on the subway, and um, I don't know why they had to come over here. It was so quiet, and now they come over here like talking loud. Anyway, here. I'm gonna move. Actually, let me just walk and talk. So, um, anyway, I was on the subway, and what happened? Oh yeah. So this uh, girl. This is why I have the deck. No, my patience is short, so let me move over here where there's nobody talking. Okay, so anyway, I was on the subway and uh, <laughs> this girl got up to leave and she hit me with her bag. You know, accidentally bumped me, it wasn't on purpose. And she's turned around, she's just like, oh, excuse me. And like, I was so, it felt so nice that somebody turned around and said, excuse me. Cause let me tell you something, I've been in Korea and they bump into you all the time they shove you they push you and nobody says excuse you until you turn around and you give them that look you like and then they're like oh excuse me and you know like i come here and they bump like people have not bumped into me and like this is a crowded city and people have not bumped into me and if they bump into me they say excuse me so i feel like the manners here i'm just gonna say from beijing they like i feel like they have more manners compared to people in seoul um i've been enjoying the food better in china than i have in korea so my chinese friends are like <laughs> they're just tickled because they're like why would you go there and you know more about chinese culture and chinese food and i was just kind of like well i got a job offer there so i went and i mean i'm learning a new culture also what's funny is that i'm so used to speaking the korean that i do know that now when the Chinese people talk to me, I answer them back in, in Korean. So I'm like, oh, I have to switch it, which I don't know any Chinese words except shisha and ni hao. Oh, also, they don't bow. Like, so my friend told me like, they just say shisha, which means thank you. She said that's more of a Japanese Korean thing where they like bow all the time. But anyway, um, I'm gonna finish my single tour. By the way, I took this trip by myself. I had a little assistance on the subway because I didn't know where to go, but I'm pretty proud of myself. I like made it here by myself with the instructions of friends and I was able to finally get money out of the ATM. So next time I know, I don't know what I was thinking. I need to make sure I have cash and then just exchange it. So yeah, I ended up finding an ATM Thanks to Lila, shout out to you. And then I like was able to take some money from my American card and have 200 won Chinese money. But I mean, I've already blown that within like two hours. So I'm gonna have to take a little bit more money or whatever. But anyway, um, I just wanted to sh share some thoughts while I am in the shade. And I'm hoping you like in my video. And yeah, subscribe. Make sure you subscribe.
or follow me on Instagram. I'm doing all the walking for you. So yeah, I, I don't even know, but I'm headed up that way. I'm excited, or I should say I'm stoked. I'm stoked. show you that drop in my camera I just came up a flight of stairs. I think this is the last flight. Maybe not. I don't know. Uh, it's beautiful. Uh, I'm tired. Though. 